Hey, this is Eric with Olympic Health Physics, and today we're going to be talking about image contrast. Welcome back to this short video series on image quality, where we're going to be talking about contrast today, image contrast. The most basic and straightforward uh, definition for contrast is um, looking at the difference in signal between two objects. It's really our ability to detect small changes in grayscale and pull those changes out of, of, uh, against the background uh, noise that's in the image. The higher the contrast, the easier it is to see the image, the more uh, clearly that image can be visualized because it ha may have much more signal than the, the signal that is in the background. There are several factors that can affect contrast in our images. For example, we can apply uh, a different radiopharmaceutical or a different activity within a nuclear medicine image to create different contrast in the image. We can give in CT or MRI, we can give contrast agents in x-ray also, fluoroscopic uh, uh, procedures. We can give contrast, which will change the way that an image may appear. We can also change the beam energy for x-rays. And by changing that beam energy, it will change how the uh, x-ray beam interacts with the anatomy and will change the contrast in our image. For MRI, we can also change pulse sequences to change contrast in the image. So there are lots of different uh, ways that we can change or maneuver our contrast uh, within our in images that is going to be dependent upon the modality that you're working in. We can also measure contrast uh, with different phantoms and uh, one of the metrics that we use is called CNR or the contrast to noise ratio and that'll give us a really good idea of how much contrast we're seeing within the image itself. In this example we show two different objects in a noisy background. One object has high contrast, the other has low contrast. It's much easier to see objects that have high contrast within the image because they can be easily differentiated from the background because their signal is very different than the background. Whereas opposed to a low contrast object that has signal that is maybe similar to the, uh, the noise in the background, it makes it a little bit more difficult to, um, to visualize those kinds of objects. And here in this example, we show two different chest x-rays. The image on the left has much lower contrast, inherent contrast in the image than say the image on the right. The differences in contrast between these two images could just be a function of the selected KVP that was used to, uh, to take these images. But the important thing here to, to look at is to see how the contrast differences or see what contrast differences look like between a low contrast image and a high contrast image. In the high contrast image, we're able to really differentiate lung tissue from the bone, whereas in the low contrast image, it is a little bit harder to differentiate some of those, those lung tissues uh, from, the, um, from the bone and from the other soft tissue in the body. And that wraps up this video on image contrast. Stay tuned for next week where we uh, finish this short video series on image quality where we're going to talk about image noise.